ass off, would you? <laughs> the Canadian government has apologized on behalf of Jordan Strong multiple occasions. This is not one of them. Uh And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Vin Stone, here at LGC Actual in River, downtown by a van, joined every week um, by a van up north. One, what does that shirt say for me? It says, it, says Va it says Vader, it's a death metal band. I was going to say, are you a Ven down by the river? No, that's a diagram. <laughs> Quit confusing me. <laughs> diagrams Maybe. anyway there's pedro <laughs> together with you hi joining us live at home helping us form cocaine voltron before we get going man we, we do the little thing because believe it or not we don't talk a lot during the week unless something is massively wrong like forgetting to lock our computers before getting up pedro how did that go <laughs> Yeah, no, Nori totally got me because uh, <laughs> I left the show notes open <clears throat> and I went to do things and I didn't notice hang on, that hang she on, hang typed on, something into the on, show notes. Hang on, I, I got the hangout. Where's it at? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 10, 10 a.m. I, I remember too, because that shit woke me up. I'm like, <sighs> wait, what? It was like 3 p.m. here, so. Okay. <laughs> we, we get the message. We have this long running Google Plus hang out well, it's not too messenger now but um this is how we communicate something was wrong i get a message uh jordan does too i don't know what peanuts and rainbows are comma which game am i recording question mark and that looked like a very angry question mark and maybe slightly confused Rawr. Uh, mostly confused there was no anger there it's just i genuinely didn't know it's like Eh? So the <laughs> peanuts and rainbows. Well, so 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 so, so, so you, you posted the history and like it had me there. I'm like, shit, did I do that? <laughs> I, no, I saw the color because it has like the little color thing. It's like, oh, that was me. Oh, Nari got me. I had to go digging Dang around it. because Pedro asked the question. I was waiting. I said Jordan wasn't typing anything. I'm like, oh, maybe Jordan's responsible. Then I got curious. So <laughs> then I pulled up the document history and it's like, hmm, maybe it was other Pedro or a Nori. Pedro just writes yes. back, she got me at 10.15 a.m. Well, it, 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 it's always that thing, like, sometimes, like, you, you middle click while you're scrolling and you accidentally paste whatever you had highlighted last. So I've done that a oh, few I times in the show notes. I, I, I disable that because Good. I don't trust myself with right. not middle clicking. <laughs> well, then you got the thing with like Google Docs. Sometimes it's a Control Shift V. Sometimes it's a middle click. It just depends on what clipboard it happens to be hanging out in. It, that it, it, day. Exactly. You you, you never you never know. Some sometimes like stuff just gets in. And again, if you if you just highlighted it and you had no idea what it was, that, that, that was my thought. Anyways, I don't know. <laughs> the no, moral of the story: Nori is an elite hacker. She Keep is, her man. away from your. Oh computers. yeah, no, Nori is straight up gunning for me <laughs> anything new in toronto no i got vacation next week i'm excited i get like half a week off I what are you gonna sleep. do i'm just... gonna fuck it I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do nothing apparently there's some plan to go to a beach let the dog run around no a beach be oh. uh, hmm. yes we we, we 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 have beaches in the frozen north 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 <laughs> No, my tongue, my, my my tongue is frozen the from the cold. <laughs> Odin, cut it off, damn it! No, nay, hey, it's not gonna happen, man. Uh, I put out a video if you're curious about because we did the uh, final test in the after shows and last week to bring up all three of our Kovos boxes with NDI over the 10 gig switch. Uh, cheap little device, but they're about 140 dollars. <clears throat> um, put a video up on that how I set it up. I made a very intentional. I do this in videos sometimes. I'm not saying go digging. Nothing that would hurt anything, but it's something that I would have swore because it went up for patrons a couple of days ago and I put it up publicly yesterday about setting up the fiber and the transceivers. I did a thing that would, I thought for sure I would get a, well, actually, Van, you should do it this way. Didn't get it. I'm not going to tell you what it is, <laughs> but it, it, it's blaringly obvious if you've ever dealt with like, oh, I'm three, it just, fiber optic cable before but hey i look forward to that comment showing up eventually yeah that's pretty much it man um not much else to report we got anything going on with the horse though 
No, I don't. I don't think we've upgraded to the fiber horse yet. It's still the copper horse, maybe okay. even the bronze horse. It's the steam update. All right, then. Clarify this for me, Pedro. I'm confused already. Yeah, no, Valve did a thing, and it, this is always news because Valve rarely does a thing. But they did uh, sort of introduce a new actual guideline to the Steamworks community FAQ, which basically is to prevent people from advertising their games that are being hosted outside of Steam. And honestly, I can think of a few culprits, um, and most of them are now shilling for the Epic Store, but that 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 that's later on. Uh, the When they first introduced it, people were like, oh, what does this mean? What does this mean? So uh, they eventually uh, did a bit of a clarification, and they said, regarding the updated language of the Steamworks community FAQ, the general spirit of this update was to remind content creators that their Steam pages should not be used for certain activities, such as promotion of a game's exclusive availability on a competing platform. Now, I would like to point out, this is only because lawyers said calling your tits was not acceptable. Mm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, it's 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 it's, it's not it's Lawyers, not just PR, it's, HR, it's, maybe. <laughs> it's it's not just the game. They're saying like any sort of like events on other platforms. They basically they want you to keep like your Steam page for Steam events and like right. oh we have this thing running on the Switch store. Don't 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 talk about that. You can tell you can talk about that on your Switch page, just not on the Steam page. Um, yeah, and like they th they make it clear like we, we haven't changed anything. We're just reminding some people. Who know who they are. Right. But, mm -hmm. It's got like a yeah. little shot across the bow. Now, one thing I would like to see them address, I, where do we feel um, on this? Simply because I get why you do it, but I don't like to see it done for, like, say you are a developer and you have 15 games, and every time one of your games goes on sale, all of your other game pages in games that haven't been updated in years all get the, hey, the latest update is, hey, our new game's out. Go give us more money. Like, can, can we dial that back a little bit, maybe? I mean, it, I, that's okay, because, like, the news thing is usually down below the purchase yeah, button. You, so you see, it's Pedro, not I, to... I tend to go through this news <laughs> thing daily, and I see it very often, and I have to keep... I'm like, well, somebody had a sale, didn't they? The new I, library does that, too. <laughs> if I, I you mean, own like, one I, of their I, games, you get all of it. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I can I can see why you'd want that as like a developer or a publisher. If like mm -hmm. people, if you if you're trying to cultivate a fan base, you want people to know, hey, this if you like this one game that we did, here's another game that we I did. Blah blah blah. I understand it. I support it. I'm just saying, don't get excessive with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, I, I mean, yeah. Also, what, it's whatever, a bad whatever, look to horse. promote your new game for a game that you never finished on your early access page. Just Frozen saying. bite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Good news, everyone. EA yeah. Is... Oh, no. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah. You want my story? Uh, Take it, bitch. No, I thought we were going right <laughs> to the other one. I had a brain fart. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, you're just going to skip that one for fuck all reason? All right. Um, yeah, ab absolutely. <laughs> uh, coming August 31st to Steam, EA Play, the ultimate game membership. That's yeah, some subscription bullshit, man. Anyway, it's here. Yep. We're kind of curious because that is going to make it theoretically easier to maybe proton some stuff like titanfall 2 battlefront um whatever more battlefield is and, and an inquisition along with some sims and it should we even care about this i think is the real I, question i mean i i think what the, this is just a harbinger saying like hey proton's gonna get real good at like running origin games uh but like so yeah. the, 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 this is like the ea origin to steam thing it lets you like synchronize saves and like um and so on achievements uh gives you like a little bit of a discount on some games i guess if you're buying them on the origin store well, the main reason i bring it up is because i know pedro's gonna be like wait what what Oh, oh no no oh, see look. i have need for speed most wanted and carbon uh on my wish list already <laughs> when uh the um sales come around i shall pick them up but uh, yeah no uh, this ea is one of the culprits i mentioned earlier and to, to be fair they're not actually the ones shilling for epic they're actually shilling for their own store origin <laughs> does it say a so, lot doesn't yeah. it say a lot that the game industry is went to such shit you look at it and you're like 
Yeah, you guys aren't that bad anymore, are you? Can, can no, we, we, we can really not. Out. You're, you're just old school evil. That's not even... Yeah. The EA's maintained the level of evil that we've come to expect at this point. Yeah. The, 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 the one thing that's kind of interesting, at least to me on this, is like, oh, you can play new EA games for 10 hours. So mm. that might that might be a thing. Like, hey, does this work on Proton? That would be. I want. I, I basically my curiosity boils down to. I'm not excited about EA or anything like that. It's like, hey, it's a new thing to fuck with, right? Like, hey, yeah. let's see if I can do some, some, see how it some works. more games, right? right. Like, yep. at, 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 at this point, the game is like, what can we get away with on Proton versus like, uh, right. we're, we're 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 holding our breaths for like actual native Linux releases. No, it's no. the lazy person's wine adventure game you know you click play nope all right next does yeah. it work no mm. okay <laughs> it does excellent all right wait till the next update to break it speaking of updates <laughs> speaking of updates that's what i was getting excited about there's a brand new steam client update it has some linux fixes uh one that i've run into uh, uh the uh bug where the shader processing could sometimes get stuck it happened to be on youngblood the first time i uh, installed it um <laughs> that yeah, sounds like it, the it, least offensive thing that's happened with youngblood that fair, right? <laughs> Fucking Bethesda net. Um, yeah, but uh, so uh, they, they they fixed the shader compile issue, so now it will be unstuck. Uh, they also added some stuff for uh, Steam input, where you can now bind mouse actions to the gyroscopes. Which, like, if you want to do like the Nintendo Wii, Wii driving racing thing, you might be able to get away with that now. Uh, I know it opens up some possibilities for like other sorts of control schemes, which I think is kind of neat. Um. And yeah, like that that's kind of it. Small update fixes some bugs. And it, uh, it comes uh on the heels of that uh what was it called? Flick stick <laughs> that uses a gyroscope and the accelerometer in modern controllers for just that purpose. So I guess introducing that uncovered a few bugs. But yeah, the the other thing is that they uh I don't know if everyone else got this too, but the latest few issues of uh, the Steam Vulcan Shader compile, the text string was not being shown. It was just showing the translation string, which means it was like hashtag VK Shader Comp. It's actually been fixed. Hashtag VK them. Shader Comp. Get that trending on Twitter, fam. <laughs> I've definitely never even ran into it. Um, no, I've had games take a minute and a half, two minutes to do the shader compilation. But now I don't even see the pop-up window because it just does it when you launch Steam. And it'll say, yep, you know, just does a little loop thing. That's when it's updating mm -hmm. the... But, hey, if you had a problem with it, I'm glad it's fixed. Let's talk about some new games. Yeah, this is, this is a fun little fuck-around-looking thing. It's called a Race Network. I haven't played it yet. Ne neither am I. It's, <laughs> it's free though, so like it doesn't it doesn't fucking cost us anything. Um, it kind of gives me a little bit of like speedrunners vibes, um, or yeah, uh, speed racers, speedrunners. That's that's the game. Speed races. I I don't even know anymore. Um, <laughs> go, but yeah, go speed uh, racers. It, 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 it's 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 a little it's a little bit of speed racer. It's a little bit of Liero. It's a little bit of Worms. It has some co op. It has some verses. It looks like a fun fuck around simulator, and it that and just it's looks free. Like Kirby with a knife, man. I I'm sold. Kir yeah, Kir Kirby already has a knife. Um, but like it has online multiplayer. That's that's the thing. It's like here's a multiplayer game that you can actually play with your fucking friends. What? Oh my god, what? it's revolutionary. Cross platform includes a level, and it's free. What's the catch? <laughs> Linux. <laughs> you just need Linux. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I did. I did, I got so far as to see whether or not it launched, and it did. So I'm like, well, you got that going. I have no idea how to play it. I think you have to cooperate, which just sounds like a horrible idea. <laughs> I spend enough time Given cooperating our on Thursday. Yes. 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 <laughs> Up next, uh, something all the um, Twitch streamers have been playing, man. Um, and okay. it was a game that got a lot of hype in uh, game conventions past, mostly because this year there haven't been any mm -hmm. f because of the thing. But yeah, it's Spiritfarer. And um, it's a basically a raft management uh, simulator where you're playing as Charon. Effectively, uh, I wanted to play as an incredibly <laughs> soothing experience. I want to be the I want to be the cat. Okay, you're the ferryman of the dead, basically, uh, and you go around picking up uh, people who died, and you need to make enough money to improve on your raft or build your boat, as they say, and. 
yeah, once you do that, uh, you get more money and you get more things and you get to see new places. It's all 2D, though, which I feel it's oh, a negative. Yeah, I do, I do not want 2D in my platformers. 3D platformers, no fee. <laughs> yeah. I, I, uh, I wish it was something more along the lines of Windward, where you actually had a 3D world and there was just that focus on your ship. I would be okay with that, but no, 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 it's 2D platformer. All hey, right. Come on, it, it, come it, on, it, it, man. It gives me, the developers gives, are called Thunder Lotus. I mean, Thunder Lotus. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it gives me some like big Stardew Valley vibes, though. Um, like 2D side scrolling Stardew Valley. I don't know. It could be. It could be chill if you just want like a game to like zone out and play. This seems like it could be something relatively low stress. Yeah. So. I, this is like something I, I would absolutely just cock around with for a little bit at least. I'm like, what's going that, on? Here? That right, that that, that, pri that price though, it's a it's a little steep. Looking at the quality of the game, just like what I just saw that animation and like right, yeah. I was like, yeah, they spent some money on this. They they they, they definitely did. I I think it's I, I don't know for me uh, like thirty four dollars Canadian. That's a little bit much. But like if this is your jam, then much like the game we're reviewing this week, it may be worth it to spend the extra ducats if you're gonna get the value out of it. Right. But do you think it's going to compare to Helheim? Hustle? Helheim Hustle. Uh no. That's... No, when I saw this, my first thought was like, is that really hell? Then I, okay, Hellheim. I get it. All right. Yeah. I get it. Hellheim. Indeed. Um, yeah, so uh, Hellheim Hassle, it's by the same guys who brought you Manuel Samuel. Um, it has a demo. I, I tried it out. It has a fucking long ass intro. Like, it, take, it takes about like 10 minutes to actually get to the gameplay. Uh, but what it is, it's like a, it's a puzzle game where you can detach various parts of your body, control them, swap between them to solve puzzles. I see um, death is back. Yeah, death, death is back. He's trying to get into like Viking hell. Um, Apparently, uh, Helheim has been replaced with like an automated system. So open up a Jira ticket. War is back a... too. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, but yeah, it, 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 it's a puzzle game. It's not quite Manual Samuel, but they definitely have that low key body horror element. Yeah, like that looks like something out of the fucking thing, man. <laughs> Mac, <laughs> Mac wants the flamethrower. Mac wants the what? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Um, that looks that looks dirty. Should we bit, censor that? A little bit. <laughs> don't want to stay on it too long um okay doesn't i'm um, 1604 all right cool i'm down yep. with that um i'll try the demo yep. demo go play with it yourself man yeah so Indeed. or go play with yourself we no don't judge. no we don't <laughs> you know who... this is this is a good christian <laughs> podcast do you know who's going it's to have to go now. back and play with themselves <laughs> Damn all alone. eight years in okay <laughs> You would you you wouldn't jack Jesus off, would you? <laughs> the Canadian government has apologized on behalf of Jordan's fine multiple occasions. This is not one of them. Um There's an update. We we've always said, you know, anytime Epic does something epic, um, our epic watch must continue. And well, for the second week in a to row. To be fair, Apple did this one. <laughs> here's the thing, Brad. Um, did they though? Did here's they? Here's the thing. Apple threatens to terminate Apple, and we're like, okay, that's the thing. Then Apple's like, you know what? Poof, go away, do a thing. Now, this is what I didn't expect. I didn't expect Epic to be like, what? And so I don't. What do you, are you unfamiliar with Apple and their scorched earth <laughs> policies? I mean, seriously, you knew how this was going to play out epic. What's going to end up happening, though, is they're going to pull support for the Unreal Engine development kits and stuff like that from the Apple Store. That's going to hurt developers, man. You know, devs, it's a good time looking to Unity. I'm just saying, man, at least they halfway support Linux. Now, VFX companies using Unreal Engine and stuff like that, I don't know what the fuck all you're going to do. I want to know who at Epic came up and executed the stunt in the first place after reading through this, because... This story gets a little thicker, kids. Stick with me. Um, oh boy. Whoever that person is, they they live in some weird, like, bubble, like a better reality distortion field than Apple has ever produced. They don't, they don't know what the public opinion of the company is. But later on, so how this went down earlier in the week, uh, well, this was last week, and they did the thing like, oh, we're going to violate the terms of service on the Play Store and the Apple Store. And Apple's like, oh, sweetheart. Get fucked. The, the um, fuck you are. Yeah. <laughs> we have a solution for that. Watch. And so it's escalated to Apple going, you know, if you fix this, you can come back on. Epic's like, Meh. 
And I was well, I'm like, you know what? You know what? Have you ever heard of a little company called NVIDIA? We're Apple. Ask them how this plays out, son. <laughs> um, this is the thing, though, because Epic is trying to get a little stay, a little injunction. Like, listen, man, we just wanted to be true. We didn't ask for special treatment and all this. Then Tim Cook walks out and he's like, by the way, here's the fucking email where here's Tim's asking emails. for special treatment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I, I, I mean, like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure in the wake of this, like, the Unity devs and the Godot devs are squeeing with glee. Hey, 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 developers, this is why you should use open source cross-platform tools so stuff like this won't screw you over. Because Apple revoking Epic's developer account means that they no longer can support Unreal Engine 4 on Mac. Like, it becomes yep. completely a non-starter if you want to make a game for iPhone, for iOS, or uh, Apple. OS 10 with Unreal Engine 4. You n will no longer get support. Those, your, 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 your download will disappear from the iTunes store. Uh, Apple will quietly remove it from your computer and you're fucked. Um, so, and, and to be fair, this is in, this is well within Apple's rights. They basically say in their terms of service, if you violate this, we can revoke all your access. This is, this is the beauty mm -hmm. of software licensing. You violated our policy. Your license is null and void. Get fucked. You cannot interact with our store anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I, I, I kind of got to agree with Ben here. Like this is, this, this, this is epic. Assuming that they have larger pull than Eddie they do. Pool. Yeah. I, I really feel like no one, like, to be perfectly clear, no one here is rooting for either company. But th this is Batman Bane about you. You merely adopted the darkness. Um, this is sketty wrestling, man. I don't care who wins. I just want to see some people buttered up and covered in noodles. I do, and yeah, like really, really rich companies going at it with each other, and they're both shit. They're mm -hmm. both. Shit. You got sales it's and great. you got valuations <laughs> when you're talking about valuation. Apple has a trillion dollars in the bank. That's yeah, real. They, fact they evaluated at two trillion. <laughs> yeah, all, 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 all those tax havens are doing Apple some good. <laughs> That's all we're going to talk about it unless uh, next week something, but we have to address it because it's Epic. And, you know, Epic loves Linux. They said it on their website. And we want to. Stuck by them yeah. somehow. No, we don't. So, so, this, so, somehow. Uh, <laughs> this, this, they, this they gave is, Strider a bunch of money. This is genuine, and Krita and Blender genuinely is. looking at two kaijus going at it with some popcorn. I don't really care all this, but it's entertainment. All right. Now, th th this is like some King Kong versus Godzilla things, because at some point, Apple is just going to start breathing atomic fire on the hairy ape, and it's going to be game over. See, that's what I'm saying. But <laughs> see, I, you're rooting for Godzilla because like the other thing's a primate and it's all warm blooded. And you're like, eh. Yeah, maybe. I, I, I own, just, um, I'm saying this is like two cold-blooded soulless corporate <laughs> entities going at each other. I'm like, have fun. I want to watch. No, yeah. yeah, I, again, like I said last week. Either way, we're probably gonna come out worse for wear with it, anyways. Yeah. So it it doesn't matter what the end result <laughs> is. Coming up next, we got some new drivers to talk about. This time, Hong say Kong. new drivers. We also got some Nvidia stuff <laughs> to talk about. More Matrix hunks. extra hogs. Eight, Goose. Eight port, eight display port hunks. And before we get to the news, let's take a bit of a break and not take our shirts off because oh, Twitch kind of frowns I on to that. Take off my shirt. <laughs> yeah, no, we can't do that because Twitch has been very clear. And since we are streaming this live, which you should totally be watching us live, if you can. I mean, I don't expect you to stay up to like two, three, four in the morning. <laughs> like I, a certain I do. Someone. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> you know what? I, I, if you don't want to watch this live, but you want to get us immediately after, you're like, hey, man, you could sub to us on Twitch. That's the thing. But better yet, man, um, patrons get access to the live and uncut. You even get in a podcast form, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's, hey. what's, what's, what's this Patreon nonsense we're talking I, about? I, it's just something I came up with, man. I, I like the name of it. It's Patreon. Pa it's not, Patreon. It's not even spelled right. Patreon? <laughs> with, 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 with an I and That's like two you U's. That's how I invented it. Pa Patreon. <laughs> you, can, you can head on over to patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast if you want to support this mess. Uh, yeah, like 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 Ven was saying, you get you get some extra good new, goodness for being a Patreon, uh, like <laughs> access to the access to the show notes. You the get access to our Discord silent. channel. Elephants are El not silent. 
It's the elephant in the room. Uh, yeah, you get access to the pre-pre super shows, and if you want an extra hour of Linux game casty goodness, uh, if you want other ways to support us, though, head on over to LinuxGameCast.com. But your mouse over How the How is that spelled? Uh, L Y N A X G Y Q seven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Linux game cursed. <laughs> Linux game cursed. It is cursed. This entire thing is cursed. Yeah, uh, we, we 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 got we got uh, we got affiliate links. We got uh, PayPal. We got a wish list. Uh, we got LibrePay. We got all sorts of ways to support us. Um, yeah, uh, if you if you want to send some Bitcoin, do that. We got like uh, on on the topic of wish lists. Um, I have one. Oh, ben yeah. has one. Pedro has one. I got I got something from Mr. Fox Dog this dun, week. Dun, dun, oh. dun. This is our favorite thing. See, this, <laughs> oh, this, oh, this, oh, fuck, this I, is I, a I, miserably bad idea that we've came up with. If you send us anything from the wish zone, a you end up on this wall. If you get anything for the studio, but b this is the dumbest thing we've done. I'm trying to vamp for Jordan because I realized he forgot something and he just did too. Um. I, I'm good like that. <laughs> you get to send us uh, a little note, <laughs> which we will read out loud on a show, and you will be perpetually shamed until YouTube goes out of business. So, Mr. Mr. Fox Dog uh, got me something. It came in this like gift bag. <laughs> Like it was, it was, it was all wrapped up. It's like this is a fucking surprise. It comes with like a little polka dot card with a little Amazon I note on it. I can only assume that that bag is breathable <laughs> simply by that you're still here with us and conscious. Fair point. <laughs> Fair okay. point. Uh, so, so I, I, I put a plastic food container on my wish list as a reminder to buy it. Uh, Foxy has bought it for me, so now I need to go buy a sous vide machine. Uh, and he says, "I demand butter, lots of it. Grease me up, you suave Canadian, you." Uh, so thank you for that. I was actually, I was actually going to bring a stick of butter in here and like snack on it throughout the entire segment, but I'm actually out of butter. So I, I forgot, I forgot to buy some at the store today. This is the quality that you're supporting. Not and the thought of like doing that. That's not the problem. That never crosses mind. It's shit. I'm just out of butter. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just straight up out of butter. Like... <laughs> All of I should put, I should, I should put that awesome. on my wish list, and Michael Foxdog can buy me there some butter. Go. Put some butter on there. Time sensitive. <laughs> oh man. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We got merch. Buy some stuff. I know I bought some stuff from our uh, store earlier this week. Hasn't got here yet. No, but I didn't do oh. any like rush shipping on it. Did Did we think uh, Senpai? Not yet. I was gonna let Pedro do it. Uh, no, 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 notice me. No, no, the Senpai definitely noticed us, and uh, he is now one of. Our patrons, yeah, our brand newest patron. Brand I'm pretty newest. sure that's not how you say it, but yeah, pa fuck it. Pa I've already screwed up the Eng man. Yeah. <laughs> I've already screwed up the English language enough tonight. I don't care. Thank you, senpai. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. Let's get into it. Uh, starting with not Nvidia drivers. No, that's that, that's coming later. Right now, we're talking about AMD drivers. AMD VLK 2020 Q3.4 is out. What is it? You might be thinking, what? The, this, this is the non Mesa driver. It is. This is the open source driver the open source vulcan driver that amd actually provides and apparently there's actually code in here that is shared with the windows vulcan driver so you get a bit of an nvidia situation going where there's like some library shaming sharing i think i think that's good unifying the code base makes library shaming oh, yeah library that's a shaming title. <laughs> shame uh no but but uh, but i think like sharing sharing code between like windows and linux drivers means that hopefully performance will be a little more consistent between all platforms because we know amd has some problems with uh, consistency mm. in terms of performance um yeah so uh there are a couple fixes for proton games in this uh they have some less crashy wayland support and uh, they update the api version to vulcan 1.2.150 so that's available. If you have an AMD card, you want to give this a little yeah. early bird. Don't want to. You. The nice thing is you can use this alongside the uh, Mesa driver, so you don't have to. It's not like Nvidia where you gotta like. If you if you want to fuck around with Nuvo for whatever goddamn reason, uh, you have to uninstall <laughs> the binary drivers. It, the the a AMD's architecture is a little clever. It all works together. So that's yeah, that's, that's pretty cool, man. Um, one thing I noticed. I'm just going by. I saw the uh, Strider. In chat earlier this week, he was bugging John. He was like, System 76 got some new kernels. And John's like, psst, slid into my own. And <laughs> I think he was tangoing with this to get this updated because now, now the creepy fetus is a lot smoother. He was able to get his death stranding up and running on 5700, I believe, right? 
Mm. Yeah. And it was that's like his, his new GPU, and uh, that's the thing. He was actually saying that it works better on AMD now than NVIDIA because apparently NVIDIA is completely missing some uh, Vulkan extension, possibly VKX four 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 formats. Four 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 four. Yes. <laughs> but four. <laughs> I am an accounted for, okay? <laughs> oh, no, man. I was like, I was trying to do an Asgardian of the list. Four! <laughs> Four. <laughs> okay, uh, enough of that. Let's get onto NVIDIA because Five! we talked about AMD. Oh, it stopped crashing <laughs> with a new kernel. All right. It's 450. Uh, 45066 is currently available for download, and it adds support for a bunch of uh, ISO Finally, Quadro. my Matrox D. <laughs> right, right? Yeah. I, 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 saw, I saw that. I'm like, Matrox? What uh -huh. the fuck? Yeah, baby. <laughs> yep. So Matrox D series, the 1450 and the 1480 are currently supported by the newest release and uh, they also fixed some triple buffering support for Vulkan X11 swap chains which is a very good idea especially if you have a high refresh monitor and you don't trust the vsync of your X11 applications which to be fair they're not to be trusted because vsync on Linux was a shit show until not too long ago I like uh, this that they threw in like also a note you're using us in Suzy uh did... Read don't, the how don't. to before Tang going with this. Um, <laughs> install Ubuntu. <laughs> run. <laughs> and, you know what, yeah, it's it's just a link to if you're using Suze, please follow this link. It's just the just the link to like the Ubuntu download page. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um so what do we get up next? Uh, up next we have uh, right. NVIDIA's new thing. <laughs> yeah, we do. Check this Spending out. Spending money. WCF tech. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 flagship and per graphics card Ampere, I guess we should say 1399, Am will feature a massive 24 gigajoule DDR Sexy X memory. Yay? So sexy. Oh, dude, come on. Are you kidding me? I want this. Just pour it all over my face, it, chest, and neck, baby. Ah. It, it, it can run like Quake 2 RTX at like 50 <laughs> frames a second? I don't know. What, what, <laughs> <laughs> The one thing my 2060 can do better than your 1080 Ti. Yeah, right. <laughs> I can crush that shit at like low 40s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you gotta Easily. have that extra. Get up that extra 12 gigs of VRAM in order to you know get that extra 10 frames a second at quick 2 RTX. Dude, um, th this is kind of wild, man. Because with the pricing, okay, possibly if. Like the pricing sticks because they're saying like four hundred bucks for a thirty sixty. I I'm probably gonna be like, okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, I, I I remember when like I I think it was like straight up the four series where it's like yeah if you wanted uh, if you wanted like a four sixty that would have been like four four hundred bucks and that was like the cheap card, um compared to like the like the four eighty and the four ninety and whatnot. Wait way way back when in the long long ago. What do we think? I know. It is a trunk. No, everyone's assuming that this is the 3090 because the first thing that stuck out to me is like it's 120 millimeter phone. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, that's three what? slots. Why? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's a triple slot with two uh, 120 mil fans, one in the front, one in the back, mm. with that uh, really odd design that they uh, decided to go with. X, X can and I give it to you? Yeah, it's probably going to be for the 3090s and the Titans. So we'll see. We'll have to see. This is all, you know, speculation. I hope you grab that bag of salt on your way here because you should have already taken two. <laughs> uh, take, the, take two um, bags of salt and call me in the morning. No, yes. you, two bags of salt. I don't <laughs> think you have to worry about that call, baby. <laughs> $1,400. Uh, I also saw the other uh, rumors that said that it was going to be $2,000, and I'm far more inclined to believe it's going to be 2000 but we'll see again. I'm not, because we'll what see. we're looking at is 400 for 3060, 600 for the 3070. 3080 would be 800 putting the 3090, the big extra chunky boy, at 1400 Now, if either the 3080 or the 3090 come out with 24 gigajoules of RAM, that immediately undercuts like what I would pay for an RTX 5000 or RTX 8000, which 
they start at nineteen hundred dollars. So that's a fucking bargain, is what that is. Now yeah. uh, that that is only a bargain in the pricing structure of which NVIDIA has pulled the strings on for the past <laughs> half decade. But. <laughs> the uh seven years of basically no competition whatsoever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the thing. All right. Moving on to something that doesn't involve NVIDIA. No, no, it does not. And uh, NVIDIA GeForce, for a teeny tiny little moment in time, <laughs> was, uh, was live and uh, the their GeForce Now system was live and available on Chromebooks. Well, it was on the Play Store, and people with Chromebooks realized, uh, if you had, they had ARM Chromebooks, that is, uh, realized that they could install it, and it would start. But then there was an update, it's like, oh, guess not. Yeah, that didn't, that was that wasn't up there for very very long, uh, and yeah, they, they basically they pulled it. It wasn't intended to be a public thing, apparently. So yeah, no. Um, currently. There is no GeForce Now availability for Chromebooks currently. Yeah, they're, 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 they're saying there's going to be the WebRTC client coming spoon. But, like, this is basically just a case of, like, hey, Chrome OS supports APKs, right? Can we install this on our Chromebooks? Does it work? Mm -hmm. GeForce Now, baby! <laughs> that, well, the APKs are going to be thing. I mean, that what I... What worries me about this is just probably the internet that's currently littered because you can play for free with GeForce now just for only like, you know, 30 minutes or whatever. And they're like, fuck off. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a bunch of sketchy APKs out there. Don't go sideloading stuff, kids. That's the biggest thing I wanted to point out. That's how you get viruses on your Androids. Shut up. I'll disable <laughs> Windows Defender if I want. Windows Defender for Android coming soon. It, I will. Uh, give Microsoft ideas. Why, yeah. you? why not? Bring it. Come on. It's 2020, man. After the pole shift. Well. <laughs> Get a little bad news from the fine, fine carbon based entities at Libretro. Yeah, so apparently they, they, they got hacksword. Um, so there's a blog post here. Uh, it's on libretro.com. Links to all this stuff in our show notes. So someone was, according to them, uh, someone gained access to a high-level member's GitHub account, which enabled them to uh, essentially wipe out their build bot. And they pushed a blank commit to the initial commit, which basically, on their Git repository, which basically breaks the repository, gets rid of all their history. Nothing works anymore. Um, uh, so according to them, no malicious code has been pushed anywhere. So none of the cores or none of the core codes were compromised. I wouldn't believe that just yet. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe, maybe hold off until until they get, they get things recovered. Um, they're saying, yeah, we we the last backup we took of everything was like a couple months ago. Backups are expensive. You not really like Amazon Glacier Backblaze. There are there are cost effective ways. Glacier to... is stupid cheap. Just don't use it. Yeah, as, as, well, that that's the thing. It's, that's the whole thing, it's, right? It, 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 it's stupid like... cheap. Yeah. Yeah, ex exactly. That 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 that's what. But this exact situation is why you keep stuff in Glacier. Um, but yeah. Uh, so they're saying uh, they're hoping to this. Um, amongst other things, they're uh, upgrading their new build service. There, there was apparently some plan to do that, but now that their old build servers are compromised, they're like, yeah, let's not go back to the old one. That's probably a smart move. Um, they're also gonna hope that they're they're working with GitHub to see if they can get the uh their source code restored. Uh, if they can't, there's a lot of various versions of the main repo floating around. They're going to try and like work with the community to get like the latest version back plus minus a couple commits so stuff may when did be you broken. last clone to get please <laughs> yeah or when when was the last git pull you did um but yeah uh so it's it's good on them for disclosing it um they could have been they could have uh, held on to this information for a while right they they, they said like five hours they, they released that five within five hours of them detecting it which i mean good good disclosure on the libretto part um so yeah that's that's definitely a thing so uh, pedro on a scale of what is a libretro libretro is uh a library that allows you to play retro games but uh, on a more serious note it's uh basically a core library for a bunch of emulators to run off of uh you see it implemented in retroarch um uh, which make, also makes use of uh, emulation station and a bunch of other things. Uh, Laka, the operating system Laka for the Raspberry Pi, also heavily relies on uh, LibRetro. And it, yeah, it, it is basically the core for which a bunch of emulators run off of, hmm. which is actually very nice to see. And it's 
an actual shame that they managed to get spearfished into giving out access to it's a <laughs> bullshit well, lesson. It that is pushed a an bullshit empty commit to learn. and it wiped is. everything. <laughs> but I said this on Wednesday. This is a dog shit way to have to develop a disaster recovery mm. recovery plan. But yep. this this like gets your head on correctly. You're like, okay, we're doing that now. Well, uh, yeah, it's like, oh, this is what happens. All right. Well, I, I mean, to your point, a lot, a lot of these organizations do not have DR plans, mm -hmm. and this is this is why even when things are going swimmingly, you need to have a plan for. Assume someone will get access. Assume that your security measures will fail, and have a process to recover because. You know, all, all security is imperfect. Humans are the weak link in any sort of information security system. So Always assume account for that. a raptor driving a bus is going to smash through the wall and crush the server your data is on. Abs or like a, a meteor falls out from the sky and just eliminates the data center. While riding a meteor. With a laser beam. And then it was <laughs> laser. A meteor riding and, a meteor with a laser. Okay. And, and then the server <laughs> was struck by a cobra picture. while struck no. by lightning. <laughs> Pedro, quit trying to turn everything into a snack. Okay. <laughs> Because I'm the food one, okay. There we go. Um, <laughs> welcome yes. to Valorian, Valorian. General Kenobi. It is an open Valorian? world, open source, multiplayer. Oh, this is retro now. Voxel RPG. <laughs> the game is in early stage development, but it is playable. And to your credit, lads, it is very much like it's a little pixelated voxel doge. Uh, uh, poof, poof. This is a thing, man. I, I downloaded it. I launched it. And hey, at 3840 by 2160, it holds 60 just. I. What were your thoughts, Pedro? Because I <laughs> didn't expect much, but it's well animated. The worlds look it good. Is. And uh, I, there was a pig it, it running took me around. A while, it took me a while for my eyes to adjust slightly because I was seeing all of the individual voxels. It's like, oh, God, this is a mess. Then I had, like, scooched back. Oh, Okay. I see things now, <laughs> but uh, the other thing I noticed is that I did the uh, click scroll on the uh, Logitech mouse and I scrolled all the way back and you can scroll back a long ass way. Uh, there's a screenshot in the show notes if you want to go have a look. It yeah, you basically can see the world. So, that, that, that's amazing. Uh, although the one thing that I would complain is like, I have fuck all idea what I'm supposed to be doing. It's like, I have a wooden sword. That much I can tell. Yeah, that's... <laughs> There's a town in the middle there. <laughs> and the rest is just... <laughs> well, so 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 I I, 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 I gave it a shot. Um, it's installable via a couple of methods. I tried the flat pack and that worked. Uh, I was also getting like 60 at uh, UHD. Um, yeah, so they're, they're saying it's like very Breath of the Wild inspired. And I can definitely see that with like the hang gliding mechanic. Um, and yeah, it's, it's an open world. I spawned in as an orc. With a hammer, I started beating townspeople, and it's like, "Please stop beating me! I have a mission for you." No, then I killed the quest giver, <laughs> and then then I then I got out of the game. But yeah, it, it it's it's open world. It's one of it's one of these things where like, if you want to commit the time to it, I'm sure the content's there. Um, I don't know. It it like like you guys said, it it looks pretty good for like what it is, especially in like an early stage of development. Exactly, and it's actively developed, so I encourage anyone to get in there. And I mean, it's multi uh, MMORPG, so go hop in yeah. and see if you can find somebody playing and uh, kill them. Yeah, Grief the them. surfers will go down a lot. They actually warn you of that. It's like, yeah, it's still in development. The surfer will go down. Right. <laughs> one, 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 one thing I do like is I went to single player mode and like immediately in the text box, it's like, who needs friends? Single yeah. player. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does take a minute to load that initial world, too. So, mm -hmm. yeah, keep that in mind. All right. All right. Coming up next, we're putting peanuts on rainbows, fam. Peanuts Rainbow on, on rainbows. Peanuts on rainbows. Oh my god, look at this wonderful new chair acquisition video. It's great. I love it. Uh, welcome back. This week we're taking a look at Really Bad Flying Machine, a.k.a. Peanuts and Rainbows, according to Nori. Uh, it's built by Eyal Hazor. Azora High? I don't, I don't know. Done on the Unity engine. Uh, you can pick it up for about $25 US. What is it? This is a puzzle game where you play as a flying machine. Shoot your propellers off to break boxes. Once you shoot a propeller, you lose the ability to move in its direction. Yeah, we 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 got we got to talk about how like physics don't really work in this game, uh, but mm -hmm. a little bit. Uh, collect keys to advance through the floors. Uh, the 
people sent us some um, keys through Curator Connect. So thank you for making me open up big picture mode and going to our Curator page. Yeah. Um, let's get started with the review proper. How'd it run on Debian, Vin? Dude, over here, um, right out of the box, if you're watching the video, you go, oh, it's going to have some rough edges. And then you would be correct. Out of the box, everything launched, picked up, X clone, wireless, no problem. The little plane, it moved around. Then I made the mistake of like dicking around in the menu and to put a pin on it. I fucked with the resolution because it's round robin. You know how many clicks it takes to get back to 2160p? 38! That's how many. Excellent. 38. And these are not regular clicks. These are little fucky clicks because the screen's resizing and it's jumping around. You might see. Then if you were a clever man, you would just hold down right or the D button, which I tried, which it would occasionally cause it to like jump down into like language so it would randomly be in hebrew i'm like ah back up <laughs> and come back up then it would be in some third language that i didn't even recognize but but um yeah outside of that it held 60 at 2160p there's not much to it take a look at it um things moved when i told it to but let's get down to the fun because i did a little bit of research this game started its life as part of a lot um, there what 46 and, you know, in fact, the prototype is still available. There'll be a link in the show notes if you want to play it. And I got to be honest, I really like the art style of the original prototype. It was more of a hand-drawn aesthetic. That's what you got. But, you know, once you get into the game proper, like into it, it things settle down. You move up, you move down, you move left, you move right, you move up. Will you move down? Maybe? Yes, possibly. Using your propeller, like uh, Jordan said, you know, that mixes your movement in that direction. It's one of those, like, it's wickedly simple, but... Oh, can you get in some trouble with this? Absolutely. Like Steven's Sausage Roll. Get ready to hear that a few more times this evening. This is one of those fucking games that looks simple, but shows you who is in charge, like, in the first 30 minutes, man. Because, like, even in the second puzzle in this game, I had my legitimate verbal, oh, it's going to be like that moment. Because I, I kind of like it when a game's more clever than I am. That's not saying a lot, but I, I like those feels when I'm trying to outthink something. Now, unfortunately, again, if you're watching the video, I got to say, presentation, it counts as something. It has to, man. And everything from the menus to the camera movement, like going out of bounds and just screams unfinished. And it's got some bugs, too. You know, I got stuck twice in like the second elevator area of stages because my flying machine just fucked off and bottomed out and I couldn't get in the tubes. Yeah. That happened. Now, you have a good concept with this game. It's, it's kind of brilliant. It's deceitfully a pain in the ass game, and I love that. You got the working mechanics for it in place. Good idea. Really good idea. What you don't have is a finished product that passes the sniff test at $24.99. Um, I'm just, I'm just going to be honest with you. I mean, you can't sell a game on mechanics alone man you can but i'm going to say this though man i genuinely am because if you really really like mind scratching puzzle nonsense really bad flying machines has it but you need to be painfully aware that only the absolute bare minimum has been applied to make this function as a game it's like just get to the puzzles that's, that's pretty much it. Once you're in the game, once you understand it, there's no explanation, not really needed, but you can math it out. And by like the menus, and just, it's just like, ooh, this, I, I don't know. This was put here begrudgingly. Now play the game. But yeah, I'm not going to say completely avoid it, but that's a tough sell, especially at that price with the level of bullish that it currently has. Yeah, on uh, Fedora 32 64 bit with the 6700K GTX 1080 Ti, yeah, it launches, holds 60 at UHD. Um, Dual Shock works fine, so does Waz. The firing, I think, takes a little bit of getting used to because you got to like hit the arrow and the and the shoot button at the same time. But that that that, that that's about all it took. Um, fun wise, yeah, I mean, like Ven said, the most obvious comparison here is Steven's Sausage Roll because you know it's a puzzle game with crappy visuals and an oddly high price. And yeah, it can be a damn brain tickler. Uh, the puzzles are quite tricksy. Um, I like that there's also like I'm seeing how Pedro solved on some of the puzzles. I did something completely different, so I like the idea that there are multiple ways to attack this. Um, 
but that's kind of a weakness of the game as well because it's very finicky and you can cheese your way through a couple things and sometimes it's like wait did they expect me to do this or is this just the framework allows it and so the game doesn't care um and especially like in in, in this one when you're dicking around with the with the various heights and whatnot um mm -hmm. yeah it's 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 real tricky uh really because it's like not finished right um, there's, there's a lot of like quality control that is not present and maybe, maybe that's part of the charm. I don't know. Um, but like the, yeah, the, the puzzles like progress in difficulty. They keep adding new elements. So it definitely keeps things fresh. Um, you can advance without having to complete all of the puzzles on a level, which is good. Cause if you get stuck, you could try some other stuff and each level, they try to introduce one or two new mechanisms for you to use and to like work around the limitations of your, your movement. Um, yeah, but like like Ben said, def definitely like your your little plan can fuck off. I wish that this game had just a reset level button, like without having to go into the menu. Dude, uh, yes, I forgot to bring that up. <laughs> Thank you. That that is something that this game desperately needs because you can fuck yourself so easily, and it's not like Steven's, right? Out yeah, of the and game. it and it's not like Steven Sausage Roll, where like they give you the undo feature, so you can like kind of brute force it no you gotta go from the beginning and go through all the stuff again it can get really annoying at times as you're trying to come to that solution um yeah but i mean if if hard puzzles is what you're after and you're willing to pay 25 bucks for it this is the game for you but i, f I feel there are a lot of people who you know expect a level of polish who you know want something a little bit more from this game would you think it's fair to say i'm definitely not harping on the price but at that price point when you just saw the menu and you're like oh, no 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 this is going back yeah it, 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 it's it's definitely one of those things where it's trying to rest on the laurels of like yeah this is a fucking hard puzzle game you're paying for the hard puzzles but it's not like you said it's not done this is this is clearly a work in progress um yeah um i don't, I, I don't know i had some other point but i forget about it or i forgot what it was right now whatever i'll think of it later i can give it two cheers yeah over here on uh, kd neon with the gtx 1080 and the Ryzen 7 3700X, you can see the little FURPS counter on the bottom because I forgot to turn it off. Uh, it Yeah, it holds 144 at 2560 by 1440. There is a definite lack of sound. Like, jarringly so. You always expect video games to have at least a little bit of sound going for it, and this one does not. <laughs> um, was and the directional arrows on the keyboard were both mapped out of the box, so no chairs linked for that. If there was a way to turn the camera, I couldn't see it. I never found it. That and, would have uh, been nice. Yeah. yeah. It was like turning the camera, zooming out so you could see everything at once. And, it, you know, staples of uh, puzzle games like Steven Sausage Roll did very well because you could always see everything in a puzzle at one point. That's like the thing with puzzle games. Give everyone all of the ammunition so they can shoot themselves in the foot. Just, yeah. But, no, for the fun, it's, uh, there's definitely a prototype of a very good puzzle game here. There is. There absolutely is. Uh, but it's not quite there. It's, yeah, not being able to rotate or even zoom the camera to see everything at once isn't helping, uh, and it kind of all boils down to, okay, so where are the diagonal blocks and how can I hit them? Like, how many of my bits do I need to sacrifice to still be able to hit them? And, yeah. It does a very good job of slapping your brain across the occipital lobe and just calling you an idiot, but it, it it's missing something. Sound, at least, because outside of the odd clink every now and then, you don't really hear anything. It it doesn't make it doesn't help. I'll give it three chairs because yes, the puzzles are very good. But the, yeah, no, the uh, the lack of sound and the lack of... Oh, come on, Pedro. I, I can finishness. audibly hear you through this video going, oh, come oh. on. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I want to bring up the propellers, though, because it took me a minute. Like, 
I, I shot the one propeller and I expected like, yeah, the you shoot the left pro the right propeller and like you lose the mm -hmm. left propeller, right? Because that's how that's how propellers work. No. No. These are these are these are <laughs> suction propellers. <laughs> They're like magnets. They pull they They're pull backwards. you. That's yeah. that, that's the thing. That might be part of the mechanics. I mean, the game it, it really set it for me when you had to shoot off two propellers to get through after I'd spent like five minutes yeah. trying to get through everything. Mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, it's like that then. Okay. <laughs> I got it. So that is uh, a review of a terribly, really bad flying machine. Indeed. Coming up next, we talk about the most anticipated console release of this year, yeah. the Atari VCS. We had a really bad flying machine and, um, well... It wasn't a terrible podcast, if I do say so myself. Listen, man, after you shot off your little penis propellers, you couldn't move. <laughs> Don't even think about it, Shadow. In Shutter that World. particular direction, uh, I can still back up a little uh, bit. I'm, 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 I'm trying to not think about it. Holy shit. <laughs> but yes, uh, chances are, during the podcast, we said something that uh, annoyed you greatly either because we got it right or we got it really wrong. So why don't you go to LinuxGameCast.com? What, what if we got something so incredibly button? wrong you started agreeing with us? What if we said something <laughs> so non-controversial that you have nothing to respond to us with? Hmm. You can still go to LinuxGameCast.com and hit the contact button and just shout general profanities in our direction. Make sure LGC Weekly is the show that you're sending your hate mail to. Otherwise, it might be some feedback for that Wednesday show what myself, uh, Jill, and Ven um, present to you on a weekly basis. <laughs> sure. That... <laughs> That sounds like they a call ringing it the present because it's a now, gift, right? A gift that you want to return and hope you have a gift receipt for. Dude, this is like a we haven't heard anymore about getting it, but this is most definitely a gift that that one person on this is from Linux mm -hmm. Lover underscore eighty four. Let's see if I can unpick in this a little bit. I'm gonna cut through this. Good job. We were what were we talking about, Pedro? The Atari VCS, obviously. The VCS. We were yeah. talking about it that box showing up on Twitter and like, hey, look, there's the yeah, box. It was a few weeks ago too. <laughs> that person replied to an old show. <laughs> a few weeks ago, no. It was, it, if this was like 2013, that would be an old show. <laughs> I, I, mean, I mean, we had McDroid updates last we did, week, right? so um, so who knows? Yes. Blast from the past, man. <laughs> Time, time is compressing. Time. It's like the end of Final Fantasy VIII. It's Dude, time compression. They write, if the Atari VCS actually comes out at the end of the year, it would probably be around the same performance, if not more than a DFI you discussed. Pedro, did you discuss a, whatever a DFI is? DFI? <laughs> I Damn don't know what a DFI internet. <laughs> All right. At least comparing the closest to the DFI GHF. Oh, it's the Ryzen. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. All right, very <laughs> the Ryzen the SOC thingy, yeah, the Raspberry Pi Ryzen, but yeah, the Get VCS <laughs> will supposedly be using the R one six zero six G, hopefully for both the four and eight gig variants. Yeah, I don't think they're going to vary. I mean, they might have memory variants, but not chip variants. I've done quite a bit of reading on the specs and the VCS. The five socks, uh, the base VCS is not a bad deal for a basic HTPC if you can use it as such. Light gaming in Steambox. Now we're dreaming a little bit. Uh, two fifty and two eighty. <laughs> But it all depends on the level of design optimization. You gotta optimize some graphics, baby. Tighten up the controls. Yeah. <laughs> um, that that's alchemy. Uh, I don't know if they can pull it off. BC of their disastrous and disingenuous approach to the product. But that's another story. Hmm. What are you talking about? It's not like they diverted funds to start a hotel or anything. Oh wait. <sighs> Hey, hey man, I'm I'm all on board if like the VCS is like a decent little set top box. Pedro, you are the problem with Linux hoteling. <laughs> if, I I don't even know where to go with that, man. There's so, there's so there's so many places. Uh, no, like, but but yeah, like I'm I'm on board if it's like an okay set top box. It might be if, like if, if if it can edge out like a nook in terms of like performance, then I think like. The people aren't going to be buying it for the actual like VCS product. They're going to be buying it because like it's a cheap system. It's like what people were saying, like, oh, if we can get um, we can get Linux running on a PlayStation Four, that's an alright little cheap Linux box, right? Like, I, I don't know. I'm, it, I'm seeing it, it something right up to the like point that. until you pull it like a Raspberry Four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Like, <laughs> I, I, I mean, you, you need the yeah, two this is the form mini. factor we're talking about. This is what the uh, that Ryzen SOC runs off of. Listen, man, you crack uh, the VCS open. There's some duct tape in there. You know where I'm going at. No, no, it's it's a CPU made entirely out of wood paneling, dude. <laughs> but yeah, it's. Okay, that Ryzen SoC it does uh, outperform at least the moment you throw like box eighty six on a Raspberry Pi for the performance is not great. So yes, in x eighty six applications, that Ryzen SoC will certainly mm. outperform the Raspberry Pi, and the graphics uh, chip in it 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 is an AMD Vega two, mm. I think. Um, but yeah, it is. As long as the memory is properly set up and they're actually doing a good job of it, it could, in theory, maybe decode 4K video. <laughs> uh, I cautiously opt it. I was floored and flabbergasted that someone on Twitter posted pictures of the box. So, mm -hmm. the actual box with the thing and the joystick and the controller yeah but, but <laughs> what, it's what's inside the box we care about i don't care if it's ben uh or brad pitt's wife's head i don't care if it's a badass ryzen soc i want good performance out of it at yeah. that price point that's uh, that's ultimately i hope everyone at least gets what they paid for and it's a better love story than the smash Z. i actually just... vi visited that subreddit yesterday out of morbid curiosity they've given up <laughs> It's just dead now. <laughs> like even the people that were like, no guys, don't worry. After COVID, it's really coming out. And they're gone. <laughs> yeah, COVID's not going anywhere. Oh man. <laughs> and the smash zero the smack the, the, the smack zero is the new COVID infection vector. That's that's what they're getting at. <laughs> On that rainbow sunshine bombshell. Peanut peanut rainbow. Peanut rainbows, mm -hmm. baby. Cue the music. You can always find us around 9, 8.30, because time compression. Damn. Um, Eastern Standard Moon Time. That's where we go live. Hour beforehand, if you're party patron, hop in Discord. Or if you're an executive producer, man, we give you a custom link to a live video if you want to watch that. Don't know why, but we're there. Uh, get in touch with me. I'm at Finstone on Twitter, or just at Vin on Mast. Dot Linux Gamecast dot com. I am all about legumes and light spectrums. If you want to tweet at me about that, I'm Jordan Spung. You can find me at The Burning Fool on Twitter. Yeah. And I am Pedro Mateos. You can find me. Well, lately you can find wait, me far wait, more wait, easily. Wait a minute, Pedro. Wait, I want you to do that again. Take you know, two. No, no, yeah. Were you looking off to the side and you're waiting? You're like, doop, doop, doop. <laughs> yes, I was waiting. <laughs> I, yeah, I saw that. Pedro turns to the camera and is like, you can find me. It's too late now. The moment's <laughs> over. My heart's broke. You, 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 yeah, you can find me you where can you find yourself. You can actually find me uh, much more easily uh, in Soapbox Race World. I'm also <laughs> at an account of four. Just <laughs> Uh, yeah, and outside of that, just Twitter, twitter.com forward slash unaccounted four. That's F O U R because someone already had the number four. It's or actually really easy to get in touch with Nori because all you have to do is leave <laughs> notes in the show notes, and she clearly reads them and like vandalizes really them. So, <laughs> <laughs> what, what what does thunderstorm taste like? Pigeon. Ground up <laughs> blended pigeon. Spice. P pureed pigeon. <laughs> Ride the pigeon. Ride the pigeon, you can see it's No, um, we gotta thank our We're executive producers, Arthur and Empty, Atomicast, Mike G, Barb Brandt, <laughs> Aldius McGeek, Scoots, Frosty Claw, Drummers, Mr. Fox Dog, the only Tiki, and our regular producers like Dave S, Smashley G, Michael, Igal, Jolly Topical Guy S, Matthew, Max, Yavo, Stonyfish, Crazy Che, Mr. Alert, Brad S, Massimoni, Dan W, Nevin, Luke W, Matt C, Mike W, Christopher C, Frazo, Aldius, Colsta, Dirty Dean, Grayson, Jack, Todd, Riddicker, Mini Jack, Massimoni, Nicole. I can't read the tiny text anymore. I wanted I you to hyperventilate and possibly pass out. <laughs> Damn it. Fine. Shameless plugs. <laughs> Got my hopes up for a vicious Captain Zero. Pa pa power and of course, Shalon Nixon. Power Nixon's power. If if you power if you need to remote power if pigeons. you don't need if, if you need to remote <laughs> manage your Richard Nixon under Linux, power shell on Nixon. Go go power pigeons. <laughs> go go power pigeons. Oh my god, where are you eating them? Oh, there's blood everywhere in feathers. Starring Richard Nixon.
<laughs> it's a delicacy in Portugal. Five dudes. <laughs>